Hi everybody, this is Black Runner Ranger. Back to do yet another commentary on my Skylanders fan animations. This time we're not focusing on one short, instead we're focusing on five different shorts with one particular subject. For this occasion, we're doing the entirety of the Empty Money Vault Pentalogy, a five-part miniseries where Skylanders have to deal with the fact that their money vault is empty. Starting with the less than a minute one, Friends for Sale. This is me poking fun of the fact that Flashwing is made of gems and Sprocket is a goldling, being made of gold. Bills a million dollars, good thing I got the... Hmm. So, here's that 3D uh, door thing I did again. Empty, but how am I supposed to pay for all this, he says. He looks, he notices Sprocket and Flashwing doing the dishes and using the phone. They're in prison, they're on cages. There's a Abraham Lincoln and a snake with a money bag, and he was only offered two cents. Cheap. That's all I have to say, really. That was the first part of the of the anti money vault pentalogy. Second one is the second anniversary of Skylanders. There's a picture of Boulder over there. His spatula. Oh, there's no more food. Um... What happened to the fridge? A yeah, wrecking ball ate it. He's a shape like a square. He's, now what are we gonna do now? Well, let's uh, see if we can buy some more food. Oh no, there's only one dollar left. So Spyro's just doing the thinker pose, just wondering what to do. And they're doing a reenactment of the Jungle Book scene with the vultures. There's an Applejack cameo. And over there are the paintings. There's one based on Mona Lisa, the American Gothic, the Scream, the Napoleon crossing the Alps, and the creation of Adam. <laughs> yeah, they're line to line. So, Trig, what are we going to do? Just like the original Jungle Book. Anna, what do you want to do? I know, let's have a birth and barf rama contest. And Applejack is like, yeesh. Oh, um, I forgot to mention, Applejack is herself can be a bit uncouth, especially in the s'mores part. <laughs> You're about to make me lose my lunch if you had any decisions. You see the pineapple apple thing? It was a, it's actually a very common cliche to replace the apple logo with uh, a pineapple logo. I even did that. I seen a SpongeBob app commercial on Nickelodeon at one point using the pineapple app. I'm not sure about that. Right over there, and um, there's Hex posing as Whistler's mother. This is my one of my favorite guys. I thought about it for quite a long time, and I managed to bring it along. <laughs> but I probably should have shrunken Gilgrunt a bit for that. Fleet Lockwood's Diatomic Super Mutiny Dynamic Food Replicator, only 99.9% .9 discount, aka the Food Sit Fur. What was it again? The Food Sit Fur. Food Sit. <laughs> One hour later, assembling in, Derpy delivered the package. There's the thing. There's Stealth Elf as Mona Lisa. I mean, in Venus de Milo, I meant. Adding water. Instructional program. It's based on the something for dummies. There's Flame Singer looking like David by Michelangelo Bonarotti. Now, uh, yes, poking fun of the fact that Gilgrunt is a fish and sushi and something like that. Cheeseburger. It poops up a cheeseburger. <laughs> Just like in Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs. I think I, this was made when, after I saw Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs too. The one with the food animals. Like the cheese spider. And the shrimpanzee. And the flamangos. Fried chicken. Please add in more water. Out of the liquid substance. Don't worry, Bob Fizz added in his own liquid substance. But that was a bad idea. Also, the instrumentals I used for these scenes are were... Recorded from the Jungle Book Groove Party uh, um, uh, game. Yes, there are karaoke versions available. You can go online, you can do your own covers of it. It's kind of free to use. You, no copyright claimant is needed. In fact, I might do a Jungle Book themed live stream or animation using those songs someday. Was that chocolate? Uh, probably not. <laughs> And then you're on your own. The machine doesn't remember what I'm saying. There's only one way to stop a bad flip. It was based on Alice in Wonderland. There's only one way to stop a man. Watch. 
Zero sink and, and washbuckler. What am I talking about? This was the best, best uh, party, anniversary party ever. And we owe it all to you, Spyro. <clears throat> and uh, like uh, the, my usual way of ending the animation with the uh, with the um, snapshot, happy second anniversary. Uh, just reusing in, from my previous animation, except including more characters. Is including the Swap Force, Inspirations, the Jungle Book. Okay, that's taken care of. Next stop is take out the turkey and the the third in the empty money vault pentalogy. Still no money. And now he's and even his gun is out of juice. He it shoots coins, remember? So I based Trigger Happy's uh ancestor on uh, his um on uh, on that hunter from Jumanji. And he was hunting on a giant woman that's blue. And it's a cover of Hi Ho. There's the Last Supper right there. There's the reusing parts of from the previous animation. And the instrumental I used was Snow Iron the Seven Dwarfs. It removes the whistling part that was that was also excluded in the Turkish version of Snow Iron the Seven Dwarfs. Because I heard whistling was kind of forbidden as a music in cameo. And uh, the, some of the sound effects were still kept in. So I had to... And work with the sound effects, like trying to lock up the thing. I will go. I will say I kind of deformed the hat a little bit, and he hides himself in the bush. He has a turkey. Ghost game looked a little familiar to any of you guys. A little robotic. What do you think, Optimus? Anyways, uh... <laughs> oh, looks like Go Grom Shanks is about to end. He's wearing the Elmer Fudd costumes. Hmm. Now, is he going to say you can lead a leaf now? And apparently the turkey discovers that. <laughs> and he walks away. And he's wondering, well... He you best leave now, or you can just give me the bird. You know what? You know what? Give me the giving the bird is right. Uh, it's a very rude gesture, and I poked fun of that. Uh, it was even used in Animaniacs and and the Warner Brothers short. The uh, oops, there's a bit of a frame rate problem, and the music was using from Legends of the Hidden Temple, the Temple Run. Um, as a way, um, the Tale of Two Kitties, a short, used that, and also Animaniacs. And uh, for this part, the dirt wants to be spared. The puppy dog eyes. How could this happen to me? I made my mistakes. And Trigger Happy actually feels bad for it. So this is like a little compromise. <clears throat> you doing our yes. So there's the turkey. It seems now. It seems that the turkey's already been taken care of. Sadly, is it? Up, where are your manners? Offer it to our guest. <laughs> yeah, turns out the turkey is still alive. But how? <clears throat> He's on a cooked cloning machine. So basically, they just sample the DNA of a sheep. They put in the DNA machine, cloning machine, and it pops out some lamb. <laughs> <laughs> and um, all I could say is Jawsome, a reference to street sharks. <laughs> and as uh, hey, does does clone meat taste different? I heard some people have eaten cloned meat. I don't know if it's different from the original or not. Anyways, um, that's the third part done. It's a Skylanders wonderful life. Uh, there's a bit of an ad. There's a bit of an ad. The vault is still empty. Be partially open. In fact, the temperature is so at to even the places. I mean, everybody's frozen. I see camels wearing a familiar costume. Their tongues are all stuck. <coughs> Chill and Slam Bam are out since they, at the time they were the only type of Skylanders who were able to withstand the cold. <laughs> hmm. The lights are out. There's a out of electricity. 
Thankfully, he's got to the, the minis are crying. Why can't we just draw one dollar in the palm of my hand? <laughs> yes, the animators just did it. Now nah, that's counterfeiting. <laughs> this is basically um, for, for those who don't know this. Uh, this this part is meant to be a parody of "It's a Wonderful Life." Admittedly, I haven't seen "It's a Wonderful Life," but I have seen several parodies of it. One from Tiny Toons, one from Meds World, and um, I think there was a. I think there was even one of um, My Little Pony, although that was more based on Christmas Carol than it was My Little Pony, and then it was It's a Wonderful Life. And the Chris and the angel, the Christmas angel is a central bearded dragon. And the in the opening, I used the uh, the music from Equestria Girls. <laughs> And I think because um, I was playing my, the My Little Pony game at the time, there was a moment where you're able to dance to some Equestria Girls music. Based on games by Activision, Toys for Bob, and the 1946 Christmas film. One day I should probably take a peek at It's a Wonderful Life. If I can. Chaos Lands. Population 1 trillion. Mm. Wait, wait, let me just rewind that again. Just let me read the sign again. Um, population. One grateful tree, one grateful king, and one trillion slaves. That's what it is. Yeah, these are Chaos's robots. There's Mabu slaves, more Chaos robots. And some that are out cold, they were given a super caffeinated soda, which makes the Mabu more caffeined and ready for work. <laughs> So basically, this is me making a statement that maybe what if what would Skylanders be like without Spyro? So, since Spyro is kind of the face of Skylanders, and what happens if he was never appeared in Skylanders? What would Skylanders have been? It says here, Gale Grunt is with lost his mermaid girlfriend to the troll. Trigger Happy is super poor. His money is taken confiscated by the sheriff of Nottingham. I think I see an Olaf cameo. I'm just trying to comfort from the show. This is based on his worst nightmare from. Uh, this is based on his worst nightmare from the Machine of Doom. Robo has been forced to marry Chaos. This is based on her backstory. <laughs> the Giants and the Swap Force. They were still missing after so many years. Yes, in fact, the um, according to the timeline, the Giants were had been Skylanders for ten thousand years before the events of Giants, and the Swap Force were around for a hundred years before. The events of Swap Force. So somewhere between the sinking of the RMS Titanic and when World War One happened, Slam Bam and Terrafin are still battling. They seem tired out, uh, but they, it looks like they still can manage to save themselves. Many stops later. I had other ideas, but um, they, I had to cut them down for time. And there's Master Eon getting vandalized by order of chaos. Do not melt. He was frozen, trapped. And there's some, what are there any good sides to this? Well, it seems Starstrike is still back in her hometown, away from it wasn't for that scroll thing. And it looks like the central bearded dragon got his wings. It was a jetpack. <laughs> <clears throat> so it looks like Spyro is trapped in an alternate reality where he doesn't exist. Oh wait, never mind. He's back. <laughs> Hmm. Leaving behind a special gift, he says. He's got the spikes color schemes. I sometimes like to color presents based on other characters' color schemes. Just as a bit of symbolism for something. There's a team. There's Master Eon as a ghost, his spirit bodiless spirit. Every you see the Twilight Scepter from from the season four premiere? The one with the roots? Is this maybe this was the gift? Who was it from? Is it you? If I told you, you wouldn't believe me. Turns out that wasn't the gift. His gift was um, a casino with the Viva Las Vegas song. So who delivered him the present? A 
pink pony with a Santa hat. I wonder who that pony is. Joy visits when you came. My brony days are over. I prefer the tiniest pets you could find. Reference to another of Hasbro's creations. Alright, time for the final, time for the grand finale of yeah, the job in Ponyville. Oh. Now, originally, this was meant to be uh, an animation for Chinese New Year of 2024. Um, um, 2014 as a ref as a celebration of the year of the horse but because I was going to my grandmother's house I had to m replace that w with something else and make this one its own individual short so um sugar happy here makes a reference to fresh prince of bel-air with the turkey with pillowy mounts of mashed potatoes <laughs> now, originally it was supposed to be um, I'll, I'll talk a bit more about what I wanted to include later as this goes on. <laughs> Wax apple. <clears throat> Joel's post was about to eat wrecking ball. Here's, here's a muffin. I forgot, um, the characters are out of food, so how come he still has the muffin? <laughs> um, so many things are going on, but there was only a cent in an IOU. <laughs> Gilgrund is being an on automatic, uh... On a spit. Cinder stars. Don't worry, she can resurrect herself. Hmm. There's a pop fizz and jetpack are watching the lottery for some reason. I hope it's not foreshadowing anything, is it? <laughs> <coughs> so they were given the jobs, what to do in Ponyville. I was supposed to include some conflict, like some other more ports, like uh, maybe the ponies discover that maybe the Skylanders didn't do a good job, like that fire thing, a burnt cake, um, there's fish in the clouds, and the trees on fire. I was supposed to include a bit more conflict and more, and maybe end when the characters didn't get much payment. I, I didn't over I didn't think this true at the end. But he got everything sorted, everything is neat, everything's ready to be rained upon, and Eruptor is kind of done. And the checks. Wait, dollars? I thought they used bits. Oh, there's a rhino cake. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, as everything is filled up. No, that was, that was taken care of. Uh, what's going on outside? I see Optimus and more dollars. What's going on? <laughs> I I um they get all the monies, all the monies come showing towards him. It seems that the <clears throat> Popfish and Jetwreck have won the lottery. Oh dear, I think the vault is a bit too overfilled. Oh, I I should have chose chose only one. I should have chose either the lottery or the Skylanders gain good payment. Mm, I don't know why I chose both. It shouldn't have been. I think one or the other should have been. Well, it looks like they're about to argue. They're just arguing about who's the best pony, who's the best pony. They start, and thankfully Jenny Wakeman is there to help suit, make sure things are. <laughs> so, and that's the end of the MT Money Vault Fantalogy. It was a nice little thing, I little mini series I wanted to do. Now, I'm quite pleased with the result. I could probably could have done a little bit better in some areas, but it was nice to look back on them and do, yeah, help to do. And I continue to use a similar format to some of my other stories later down the line. What do you think about this? I hope you've enjoyed this video.